All right, it's time for Thirsty Thursday, but it's not necessarily just about the thirst quenching part of this. So if you love whiskey, good food, some live entertainment, we've got the perfect spot for you. Haymaker in North Portland is a whiskey focused neighborhood bar and restaurant with a cozy environment. All kinds of good stuff happening over there. In the studio this morning to tell us about their return of happy hour <laughs> is owner David Bertello. Good morning. Morning. How Thanks are you? Thanks for joining Ooh, wow. us. Absolutely. This looks like a, a whole good spread. Yes, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we brought we brought one of our entrees and a, a couple of our happy hour items that are going to come out. We're starting it Today, uh, we, decided, we decided we'd launch it with you guys. Oh, oh how cool! Fantastic! So the return of happy hour. Return you're, of you're happy bringing hour. it back. Is this bringing post pandemic? Yeah, you know when when things were opening and closing and everything was yeah. changing so much, we just kind of stripped some Paired things away, down. pared yep. everything away, mm -hmm. and we we decided it was time for time for it to come back and. While we were in the middle of writing the menu, you guys called us up, so we thought it was perfect timing. Perfect oh, how cool. Timing. All right, well, Isn't let's dive into it a little bit here, and then obviously we'll get to the cocktail side of things, Absolutely. too. Where do, we, where do we want to start? Do we want to start with cocktails let's, let's or start food? With, let's start okay. with some food. Okay. So um, this, we have our petite tenderloin. Basically, what we did mm. for our, some of our happy hour, we took a bunch of our entrees and we pared them down to so mm. do some $9, like, really great quality, but, you know, small... Portion okay. Yeah, so yeah. A quick, like after work bite. I love something it. Something between dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a petite tenderloin. It's uh, pan seared roast. Yeah, and it's uh, served over a corn salad with some chimichurri. Mm. Oh my gosh, as yeah. well as we have like a little like kind of charcuterie plate type thing. It's mm -hmm. our braised pork with a little house pickled onions. Wow. Cucumbers, mm. mustards, and some bread. House pickled. Don't mind. As like, are we gonna dive into that? Uh, get in here and try a little bit. I mean, I gotta, oh. I'm gonna dive into the tenderloin here. That's I, this. Anything, mm. anything on a yeah. board like this. There's like, no yep, way I'm, I'm not going into the kill here. I'm happy. Yeah, this is oh great. Oh my gosh. So uh, you said you do the house pickles. Uh, are you working yeah. locally with some of the other stuff here. Um, our pork and our steak uh, come from a local company, Corfini yeah. Gourmet, uh, which does really fantastic meats. Um, uh, it's local uh, direct pit pork from Land Rock Farms, oh, cool. as well as um, the beef is from it's a collection of different farms called the 1855 Project, and mm. it is uh, all local Black Angus beef in Amazing. southern Washington, Oregon, up, you know, northern Oregon. It's a collection of a bunch of farms all collaborating together. Very cool. This is stupid good. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. just ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to be professional and eat the whole thing because I still need to ask you some questions. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, well, while you do that, I'm going to do this cocktail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so what are, you, uh, what are you making? We're going to make one of our house cocktails called the Jalisco Jewel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to, we do all fresh pressed juice in our cocktail, so we're going to do just some fresh pressed grapefruit juice. Love it. We're just going to do what does Half doing the, the fresh right press? What does that give you in terms of a little more flavor? Yeah, so the second the second you juice, it it starts to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. Most like real like quality cocktail bars are not gonna have their juice for more than a day or two. Mm. Gotcha. Um, but it is gonna die the second you go. So we just juice right into the glass. So it does have it. to be. It does fresh. make a difference. Okay. And then if you're buying it in the bottle, they they pasteurize it, which loses a lot of the flavor and everything like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do half a grapefruit, an ounce of tequila. Ooh. This is Ramazzotti. This is a little uh, bitter aperitif. Okay. okay. And but you could use other bitters like um, Fernet or something like that. Mm. And then a lot of people know Aperol, Love the Aperol. orange aperitif. Mm -hmm. So we did a quarter ounce of the Ramazzotti, three okay. quarters of an ounce of the Aperol, so it's two ounces of alcohol all together. Okay. okay. We do it right in the glass, so it's nice and easy. Easy. Yeah, yeah. it is. One nice big cube. We just use the the forms that you can get at yeah. like a Bed Bath and Beyond, a little silicone form. Mm -hmm. And we just stir it right into the glass. I, good to go. I finally got Fast, some of those and I keep simple. them in my freezer and they really do make me feel so much fancier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go, yeah. Mm, look at me. <laughs> Having a craft cocktail. <laughs> yeah. it's, That's it great. Is, it's great. Yeah, and so we just keep it yeah, really nice and simple. I love that. I'm going to give it a whiff. Yeah, Isaiah, right? give it a whiff. That's yeah. going to do the same thing. Mm, I like that. Oh, it's got a nice, like, smoky quality to yeah, it. Yeah, Is that that tequila in there? Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. That's great. And very, definitely a happy hour sipper. We mentioned right there. You're, you're a whiskey focused bar, but obviously you've got, you know, all kinds we of do, other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We have, yeah, we have all liquors. Mm -hmm. uh, we just. Yeah, we we personally like whiskey, so you can see where we bought, bought whiskey. We bought whiskey. We bought whiskey. We got, yeah. Oh no, we got to buy some other <laughs> stuff. Stuff too. We got to buy some other stuff. I mean, I was gonna say whiskey works very well with uh, right. smoked meats no doubt. and the charcuterie board. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. And over here's one of our entrees. We've got our uh, hanger steak, okay. and uh, yeah, can we do that? Mm -hmm. We bra we we uh, marinate that in a little bit of uh, 
pineapple mm. and uh, oh, sambal, pineapple. which is uh, I love that. South Ooh. Asian uh, chili spice. But a lot of people know sriracha. It's, okay. Yes. It's think sriracha, but it never gotten blended. It's just oh. a whole big chunk. So you'll recognize those flavors, though, if you've yeah. had sriracha before. Absolutely. Same mm. company. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh my god. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna I hope you stay for a while after the show. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I wanna eat some. Well, some you got it. This plate. Mm -hmm. you got it. Oh my gosh. Um okay, so we covered food, yes. music. Uh, or we covered food and drinks, but we've got to talk about music. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, we've got a bunch of shows. We do comedy shows, we do uh live music, um uh we do free shows on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Nice. I love it. Tuesday yeah. night music, Wednesday and Thursday comedy shows. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh Cover chart shows, you know, five, ten dollar covers that mm -hmm. goes directly to okay. local artists based on uh, Fridays and Saturdays. Mostly, you know, local singer songwriters, um, Americana. That's awesome. Real, uh, acoustics. Also, like that the, the cover goes toward the local artists because mm -hmm. obviously, yeah. local artists. It's it's not an easy world out there. No, to try absolutely. to try to make make a, make a little bit of money, but so you can have that dinner, show, cocktail. Yeah, it's a it's, great trifecta. Yeah, no, it's uh -huh. really important to us that artists get paid. I think that's real, like. Uh, it's a group that gets very much abused. So. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes it a um, fun spot, though. The dude. cover charge goes directly to them. Yeah. On the days there are free shows, they actually just get a percentage of our sales for oh, the day. Great. Oh, so. that's so cool. And, well, and like Travis mentioned, you can come do it all. Dinner, drinks, and a show. all in And I tell you spot. what, if you taste one bite of this, it, you will be I'll selling. Let, I'll let you get back <laughs> into that state. David, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us in the studio. Thank you for me. This is fantastic. If you want to go check it out for yourself, we've got hours, full menu, all the info you need at haymakerportland.com.